Why am I a missionary? Why have I chosen this path in life? Um, it's actually pretty simple. Um, I was radically saved by Jesus Christ in 1998. He appeared to me and um, he actually turned my life around. He changed me. I was on my way to destruction and death and he stepped in and changed everything. And at that moment, I realized that I had to take the gospel news of Jesus Christ into all the world. <laughs> And about six months after I got saved, um, I heard the call to go to Africa. And God has sent me out through Africa for the last 10 years. Um, I have an incredible passion to see the lost saved, to come in, into a relationship with Jesus, to take the miracle working power of the Holy Spirit and show a dying world that there is hope, that there's a chance, there's a way out, and that God really cares. Um, my life has been transformed through the blood of Jesus, and I believe that every life can be transformed through the blood of Jesus if they would simply surrender to the call of God. <laughs> Um, well, you know, it's, uh, there's always a price uh, to pay in following Jesus, and the mission field is not always easy. Um, just thinking back um, on this last trip, uh, we, we were reaching uh, uh, unreached Tonga people, and I picked up uh, a bacteria in my esophagus, which has really caused me to be quite ill for the last few months. Um, other scenarios, we've been uh, almost thrown in jail, we've been almost beaten up. I remember a time when we were reaching an unreached uh, part of the Zulu group down in Natal. And uh, on three occasions, three days running, we went back and uh, we were stoned three days in a row. Um, on the fourth day, uh, these people couldn't understand how crazy we were. And eventually, obviously, the Holy Spirit brought conviction and they got saved. Um, other occasions we've been held by the secret police in Zimbabwe, we've been questioned, we've been knocked around, beaten up, uh, you name it. All sorts of things happen in the mission field, but Jesus says this is one of the prices to pay, but he says I'll never give you something that you can't handle, that you can't bear. Um, I've almost lost my best friend in the mission field, he had malaria, it went to his brain, but uh, thank heavens um, the Lord came through for him and uh, he got delivered from that. Um, so at the end of the day, um, <clears throat> we are dead. <clears throat> the Bible says we reckon ourselves dead unto Christ. So when we go into the mission field, um, we're living for Him and we're trying to bring many, as many people to Him as possible. Well folks, welcome to missions. <laughs> this ain't the fun part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll be caught by a storm and it's raining in the middle of the night. Our whole tent's wet, all our supplies are wet, all our clothes are wet, all our beds are wet. But hey, our joy is full because Jesus is alive. What's the reward? Uh, I would have to say is seeing people being born again, uh, being saved, coming into a relationship with Jesus. We've seen many people in the village uh, with these fetishes on. Um, they've gone to local witch doctors and youngers, and they've gone there uh, to be healed, uh, to be blessed, to be favored. And all they've done is curse themselves. They've gone to the devil for advice, for help. And uh, Jesus says that he became a curse for us, that we can be free. Um, and today, um, this lady's been set free, she's been born again, water baptized and received the gift of the Holy Spirit. She's brought a child now and we've cut this fetish off and we're trusting that this child will be instantly uh, healed. Uh, that's the promise of God. If we turn to Him, uh, He would restore all things. Um, so we serve an awesome God and we're so excited because this is um, great. For a person to cut their fetish off is huge. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do in a culture like this. Um, so God is bringing revival to this village. Um, so we bless you Lord, we thank you Jesus, you're amazing. You came to destroy the works of darkness. I can't explain to you how awesome it is to see somebody in the bush who's walked 25 kilometers to come to a service so he can be prayed for and when he gets prayed for, that man gets out of his wheelchair, his eyes are open, his ears are unstopped and that man walks another 25 k's back to the village he's come from and the, by the time you get to that village, the whole village has been born again because they've believed the testimony of that man because he's been radically healed or set free. Uh, the reward in following Jesus is immense, especially once you've gone through all the adversity that's thrown at you. Then to see the miracle working power of God flow into a nation, into a city, into a town, into a village, into a person. And to see that the, <clears throat> the true message of Jesus Christ is a reality and it's real. Uh, that's the reward, seeing a person transform and coming into a relationship with Jesus.
have faith in God. <laughs>